Who Needs Father has called an emergency council meeting and based on the info that is reaching us regarding the reason why this meeting is holding and why it is very necessary for it to hold, it is concerning Olori Naomi's return back into the palace, which it's scheduled to take place this month unfailingly. They don't want any sort of failure to come in between and Olori's father is very, very deliberate on what happens in the palace concerning Naomi's return and every other thing concerning Naomi's return back into the palace. It is of deep concern to the owner's father. So my people now, what is the council meeting all about? The council meeting has been scheduled as per reasons why um, the Toby and every other person has been vigorously sending uh, babalawos and everything they feel they could send across to Oluri Naomi and according to the owner's father he is not finding it convenient enough as a thing to to just overlook and say it is fine these women are just bluffing around because he finds it quite ridiculous why some set of persons will choose war over peace hmm. my people will remember some days ago Oluri Toby Olori Toby um, actually came after Oni's father. She called the man out and called, said the man was biased. The man supports Olori Naomi for some hidden benefits that he doesn't want anybody to know about. He supports Olori Naomi simply because he, he feels that is what the son wants and he doesn't want to lose uh, his connection with the son in one way or the other. Because the last time where we... We followed on this matter. We saw how the Oni's father was not talking on any single thing concerning Oni and his wives over time. But when it came to that point where it was about to live in Naomi, we saw how vigorously ah, the man came out with his maximum support. The support was massive. So as it is right now, what Olori Toby is, was trying to say was the fact that this man this man knows exactly what he wants but simply because that is not what his son wants he is just being there playing pretend and hmm, this is the same person who they have said he's playing pretend he is the same person who has come out to call an emergency meeting an emergency meeting for an emergency meeting for Olivia Naomi's return back into the palace. My people, at the end of the day, there is nothing you can do to stop these people from achieving what they want. There is nothing you can do. See, even if the owner's family is not in unity, but at least they are not disagreeing with each other. Yeah, there came a time that only sisters were divided. There came a time that um, only sisters were taking bribe. There was a time that these women had the Ifa chief priest in their, in their control. They had this man answering to them. They had him answering to them. And all of these things happened under Oni's roof. Do you think Oni was ignorant of it? Oni wasn't ignorant of these things. But Oni trying so hard not to be the one to, you know, always, always come out and be the Un, is it the over unprotected person it's it's so so recommendable yes not being the one who comes out exaggerating seeming so unprotective and all of those things it seems so recommendable but you see over time these women have done a lot of things that even the only himself he is he has been blown away he has been blown away and then today you see this meeting that has been called is to finalize every single thing this kind of meeting held sometime last year and during that last year meeting we heard of how so many persons made all manner of comments some were even an opinion that and why is naomi coming back into the palace naomi should just bring tadani kawo back and she should live her life the way she wants to live it and then you know but that during that time that was when um their miriam and ronke had the elders under their control so in order to make it a balanced equation it let it not be like some elders are for Miriam, some elders are for Ronke, and all of those things. They 
end product became that this meeting transpired between the prominent men, the men in council, and the elders of Elife. And that was where it just became the elders standing in for Miriam and their Ronke. And I think it was at that point that the elders saw that what they were doing was just a bunch of stupidity and nothing more. They were supporting women who are literally ready to take down their king. That is what these women are doing. They are just there to take down the owner of Ife. Nothing more than that. Because from from what from all indication and every single thing happening every single day and night this woman wakes up with new agendas new plans new strategies to make sure that they take oluri naomi down what has naomi done to them this is one question that has not been able to answer over time that is it that is what has not been able to answer over time because Olui Naomi has not done this woman any single thing. Look at Toby, she felt she felt uh she felt Naomi had a son for 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 the only so if you could overturn Naomi, have a son for the only as well, or have a child for the only as well, it will give you the leverage or it will give you that audacity to stand in the same league as Naomi is. So that was why she went ahead to do what she has done or whatsoever it is that she is still planning in stock that she has not unleashed. And then the palace who oh, Palava has caught up with her. So my people, categorically speaking, this meeting, everybody is waiting the output of the meeting. Because this meeting will tell us the date Oluri Naomi is returning back into the palace. It will tell us exactly when Tedeni Kawo is returning back to his father. And you know, a lot of things will fall in place. A lot and a lot of things will definitely fall in place as a result of this meeting so my people as the whole matter is on ground right now this has actually exceed the point of sit down the look yes we are not doing sit down the look again what we are doing is embracing the reality and truth in these things because these women have not given us a reason to stand by them yes they have only fought and tried to destroy a king who is for the people Yes, a king who says, in fact, only said categorically that he's a king for all. He's a king for both Muslims, a king for both Christians, a king for everybody. Yes, a king for everyone. And what are these, What are his wives turning him to? An enemy for everyone. So it is better he takes action, he takes precautions, and he does every single thing that he can do to stand on the right track because the name these women are beginning to give him it is a name that no king would want to bear yes the name his wives are beginning to give him a tag on is a name that no king would want to bear so it is just time that he begins to take action like he is doing right now